Hello Techies. In the previous tutorial, we have learned about Microsoft Azure Cognitive Services. To work with Microsoft Azure Cognitive Actions, such as Bing Spell Check, Computer Vision, Text Analytics, we need subscription key. Let me drag and drop any one of the action over here onto the workspace. If you observe over here, to work with the Cognitive Services, we need the subscription key. How can we go ahead and get this subscription key from Azure? For that, we need Microsoft Azure Cognitive Services. How can we go ahead and we can sign up for Microsoft Azure Cognitive Services? To sign up for the Microsoft Azure Cognitive Services, we required email ID, credit card, and phone number. These are the prerequisites which you are having to sign up into Microsoft Azure Cognitive Services. I will show you how to sign up into Microsoft Azure. We'll go for portal.azure.com and there it will ask to sign in to continue with Microsoft Azure. You can use the email ID or the phone number or Skype to sign up into that. Let's assume you don't have email ID and you want to create a new one. In that case, click on create one create account. I'm going to give some email ID or if you want to get a new email address, click on that. And there I'm going to use Amir Basha. I'm going to use over here Outlook or Outlook.in or Hotmail. I'm going to use Outlook.com. Then I'm going to click on next. Now it will ask to use the password to give a new password over here. And then I'm going to click on next. Now it will ask to solve the puzzle. Click on next. Once you will solve the puzzle, it will redirect to portal.azure.com for the subscription. There you can see over here, welcome to Microsoft Azure. There you can see over here, welcome to Azure. To start with a free trial, you need to get 200 free credits to Azure products so that you can have 12 months of popular free services. Now I'm going to use the same free services so that I'm going to click on start over here. There you are going to provide the details over here. You can see your country, first name, last name, email address, phone number. And also you have to provide the phone number to get the verification code. All right. And after that, you are going to provide the organization details, PAN ID. And once you are going to select the option I agree then you have to provide identification by card in the identification by card you need to provide your credit card and debit card so that it will be successfully signed up for the Microsoft Azure once you have signed up successfully into the Azure portal there you can get these kind of things you can see over here cognitive services quick start, virtual machines, app services, storage accounts, database, Azure Cosmos and Kubernetes. There's a lot of services you can find under the Azure services. Now, in the upcoming sessions, we are going to work with Azure Cognitive Services, right? There you can see Cognitive Services, click on that. It will redirect to the Cognitive Services. There you can see we are having decision, long ways, speech and vision. These are the different types of cognitive services which we are going to work in the upcoming session. There you can see, while well, you are going to make the decision cognitive service, you can see make smarter decision faster, such as anomaly detector, content moderator and personalizer. There you can see another one long wave cognitive, which is long wave understanding, Q&A, text analytics, translator. There if you see another one, speech, to integrate speech into our applications and services, right? In that case, we are having speech service. Another one, we are having vision. There you can see computer vision, custom vision, face API. And also you are having multi-purpose. You can see access multiple cognitive services capabilities with a single key and endpoint. Here also, we can create a new subscription key for the entire cognitive services so that by using that single key, we can access all our 
cognitive services which are available in microsoft azure right on the left hand side also you can see all these cognitive services if you once again you will click on all cognitive services you will get it what are the cognitive services have been generated by using our cognitive service we will see all the keys over here as of now i have not created anything so that we can go ahead and i will explain you to create each and every subscription key by using our cognitive services all right i hope you understand how to sign up into microsoft azure and also we have seen the dashboard related to the microsoft azure cognitive services as part of this tutorial Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye bye. Have a wonderful day.